introduce yourself to everyone. Hi everyone, my name is Adelia Gomez. And I am a 33 year old female that was diagnosed with lupus this past fall. Lupus nephritis class five to be specific. And how long did you, how long, how long had you had lupus? Um, at that moment, they were not sure, but based on the symptoms, they at least knew at the very moment I did. Just because of my night sweats and inflammation factors and exhaustion. And what were the doctor's treatments and recommendations? They immediately did two different biopsies on me. One right here on the lymph node because they were all inflamed and the second one in my kidneys, as the protein in the urine, they felt was really, really high, and that's what the labs were showing. So they did a second biopsy in the kidneys, January 12th of this year, 2023. And what was the recommendation for treatment? Recommendation was immunotherapy, which is the same thing as chemotherapy without the radiation. So you literally kill your immune system. Wow. Yeah, and they gave me medication that usually is used for malaria to help with the inflammation and the, the pain. They did lisinopril, which is, they just say it uh, helps protect the kidneys. They didn't explain really why, but that usually is used for high blood pressure. Um, and prednisone, a really intense uh, steroid. Mm. And did you do any of those treatments? I did for a month and a half. And that's it? And that's it, because a month and a half in, uh, my urine actually quadrupled, not my urine, my protein in the urine actually quadrupled. Wow. So at that point I felt lost and they wanted to add yet another medication that was just FDA approved very shortly ago. So in my spirit, I did not feel comfortable adding another medication and up in the prednisone as well. Mm -hmm. So I knew I had to take a different route. It was just in my spirit at that point. And you were searching for alternatives? Yes. So at that point, I said, okay, Western medicine might not be it, but what's next? I didn't know anything else. I was doing Reiki, which felt great, but I knew I needed something deeper. Mm -hmm. um, and that's when a dear friend of mine <laughs> introduced me. A mutual friend of yes, us. Yes, a mutual <laughs> friend introduced me to you. And with that trust, I trusted you. Mm -hmm. And with both of that trust, I trusted Kamo. Mm -hmm. And it's been incredibly life transformative in Absolutely. such a rapid short amount of time i'm like just in awe and so grateful you're grateful <laughs> i'm gonna cry uh, you're grateful <laughs> because it's real it's really real would you share with everyone a little bit about your your journey of receiving combo so we actually only did three sessions within a one month cycle and today will be your fourth session and could you share a little bit with everyone about your process? Yes. Um, one thing I really want to put out there, I kept being told lupus does not have a cure. There is no cure. You kept being told by that by who? By the doctors. Mm -hmm. So I would ask, hey, is there anything else I can do? Um, anything else? Is it the diet? Is it eating animal products? What can I change? And I was just told, no, 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 just, it's with medication. Like, sorry, there's no cure for this. Mm -hmm. um, so there was no other. When Campo came into my life, I remember the very first session, May 20th of this year, 2023. Um, you had asked me when we did the consultation, do you feel comfortable? And I really love that because you didn't push. You actually want to know how I felt, mm -hmm. which was very different from what I had been experiencing of, you have to take this to survive. Mm -hmm. Even you know when you practice so well, you still want to know where I was. I wanted to put that out there. Um, and I told you, I'll stop at the day before, just because I still was in both waters, right? Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I stopped the medication May 18th. That's the last day I took it, the immunotherapy, everything. I can say it out loud because apparently I really should have died. So Combo definitely saved me. What? That is what I was told by two different doctors that stopping immunotherapy cold turkey literally is death. I was on 3,000 milligrams of Salsa, 30 milligrams of prednisone, 300 milligrams of hydroxychloroquine, 2.5 milligrams of lisinopril. And May 19th, I was fine. May 20th, when I woke up for the ceremony, I was having withdrawals. So I was nauseous, my head was pounding, mm -hmm. I was exhausted, I had the shivers, 
but I knew I had to be here. Whether you believe it or not, Archangel Michael drove me here. Mm. Because I just was all out of it. So when you met me, I couldn't tell how I looked, but I knew I felt so bad. Um, you did really well, so surprisingly well, considering your condition and, and withdrawing from pharma. Yeah, that day, I did not feel worthy, I will tell you. And I'll never forget, I looked up and I saw my grandma. Mm -hmm. And she was smiling, and I literally was like, I am worthy. Like, I'm here, I'm here for the ancestors, I'm here to change my lineage. Mm -hmm. Because my grandmother was in a lot of pharmaceuticals by the time she transitioned, diabetes, all these other things that they pronounced her with. So as soon as I felt worthy, I perched. Yes. And I woke up the very next day, May 21st of this year, 2023, feeling like I was 21. Oh. 21, my like 21st birthday, that entire year cycle, was my prime time in my life. Mm -hmm. I had lost the weight, which is where I am now. I had really loved myself and felt so great about life. And that's how I woke up that day. After one session. And I had a decision to make because you allowed that decision. You said, hey, you can go back after, but at least like try this. So I made my decision, no, there is just no way. There is no way. Being in immunotherapy, for me personally, I would lose my voice. I would have brain fogs. Wow. I would just feel sick. Like I would have the flu half the time during that period. Mm -hmm. And I'm 21 now, feeling myself? I said, no, I'm good. And combo is such an incredible medicine because it helps people to transform their lives, especially if they're, if they're on pharma and they want to come off detoxing off of anything. Bad behaviors, bad bad thought patterns, anything that is, is in addiction that's keeping people in a low vibrational place of, of being. Absolutely. It rapidly, like what you experienced in one session and by three sessions, you've, you've rapidly transformed your life. Yes, a rheumatologist here in Miami and I went to Boston, Massachusetts for a second opinion in July. So I went there and both these two doctors, a rheumatologist here and the doctor in Boston, so two different uh, sides of the country, right? were in shock when they're like, so what did you stop first? And when I said I stopped the whole treatment, they're like, you know you could have killed yourself. Like that is a death penalty. Have people died that way before? I did not ask. I'm sure if they didn't have combo, they, they probably. And that's why I knew. And I told both of them, okay, well that just shows you how powerful combo is. Mm -hmm. And my rheumatologist is more open-minded to just like, huh? The Boston doctor did not want to hear that. Yeah, in sure. fact, I got a letter from the doctor. I did not bring it to him. Really? Yes. Saying what? So, uh, he made sure to start with the negatives, just saying, <laughs> um, your are Give you the death sentence yes. first. <laughs> so, I, he had me do labs in Boston that I never received. He did not give me approval for the portal, because you can apply for the portal and the doctor, like, approves it. Mm -hmm. Never got that approval. And um, he sent me a letter saying, well... Your labs for your protein in the urine were 1.7 grams because I had asked in the office, what's the max that I should be looking for to, in, like, so I know what I should be concerned about. And he said up to 1.5 after that be concerned. So he said I was at 1.7, but mm -hmm. I never saw the labs. And he said, you know, I would recommend for you to get back on your treatment and stop this frog poison nonsense. And I said, wow, okay. <laughs> Reading the letter, I could just feel his like, ugh. And then um, at the end, he was like, yeah, your creatinine and your kidney functions are good. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, so he made sure to tell me all the negatives and then put that jab in there, like, stop that frog poison. And then he was like, everything else is fine. So I was like, interesting, but I will still stand here and tell you how combo is so powerful. Mm -hmm. I stand for my power. It takes work. Amen, <laughs> sister. It takes work. So it is official, you are lupus. Free. Yes. You have the proof, your labs. Yes. So I have uh, a story. I'll try to be as fast as I can. This past Thursday, uh, September 14th, I went to nephrology and I had a new fellow. When I went into the into the room, he's just looking at me, looking at me. He asked me, hey, I'm going to go down the medication list. Could you please tell me what you're on? Went through all of them. I said no to each. 
and he's looking at me and he says, hey, did you happen to have COVID in October when you first started getting these labs? I said, no, in fact, I was in and out of hospital, so I'm pretty sure they tested me. He said, did you have flu-like symptoms? And I'm like, no, I just had what I've been telling you, you know, inflammation and whatnot. He's like, okay, uh, the reason why I'm asking you this is because your labs are perfect and your indicators for lupus are negative. Yes. You do not have lupus. <laughs> and I said, I know, God has healed me. And he said, okay, he checks me, no inflammation, anything. He's like, okay, um, yeah, I'm still thinking here, you know, and I said, do you want me to tell you what happened? And he's like, sure. I said, I had a really bad car accident where two cars hit me March 12th of last year, 2022. And then after that, I dealt with relationship problems and a move and just a lot of stress. And my body finally just gave up on me because mm -hmm. I've lived a stressful life. Mm. And it went into shock. That was to wake me up. And that's what y'all saw as lupus. My body yelling at me saying, take care of me. I am your sanctuary. Mm -hmm. And you interpreted the labs as lupus. So here I am, two biopsies later, and medications. But what happened was is I went another route and I worked on showing it that I love it. And I worked with spirit and I worked with combo and he asked what was combo. And he tried to take some notes and I told him in the system, leave it as my rheumatologist put it, holistic. Because yeah. he was very <laughs> interested about the frog poison in the jungle. <laughs> and I said, we all work together to make sure to let my body know it's safe. Mm -hmm. And what you see there is that my body is now safe. And he came up to me and he's just like in shock. And I asked him because so many doctors made sure to look at my mother who was in every single appointment but one, because she was actually sick, and told her, your daughter will die. Your daughter needs to take these medications. This is a life sentence. Uh, you know, once, because one time my liver numbers went up and I said, whoa, what's going on? Oh, that's the cell set, the immunosuppressant. It does weaken your liver, but don't worry, we have medication for that. So that's what my life was going to look like. So I told him, could you please look at my mom and in Spanish tell her this? And he did. He looked at my mom and let her know that the indicators were negative and that I do not have lupus. So what he proceeds to do is, can I please bring the chief of the department for knowing these? I said, absolutely. She did not come in, instead, I will, I will not say no. Instead, the director came in. And when she came in, I never had seen her, but I knew her by name, so I said, hey, you're the director. She's like, yes. So, you're not on any medications? No. Okay, your labs look good. So we'll see you in about six months. For what? And I, I said, And I said, okay, this is what will happen. My insurance is maxed out. So for the next few months, you can see me every month and do labs with me. Because in other words, I was gonna say, you can milk my insurance, that's what you want uh -huh. like anyways. But I said it politely. And I said, so y'all can do that. And then when the new year comes in, I'll only stay with rheumatology for a little bit longer in their cold pace, and then I'll just stick to my regular PCP. She didn't like hearing that. She said, we will see you in six months. So then she proceeds to ask, do you need anything from us in the meantime? And that spirit was like, hold my beer. So I proceeded to tell her, you have a big sign outside in the waiting room that says be part of the cure. But I've never experienced a department who says more than this one that there is no cure. So what I ask for you is to leave that channel open. The reason why I'm healed is because I believed that I can heal. However, if you continue telling patients that there is no cure, you block that channel. And giving them death sentences. Absolutely. Black magic. This is Black it magic. for the rest yeah. of your life, and there's more, 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 and yeah. that's it. You're just a medical record number because there's so many of us, right, that end up in that place. Yeah. So then I told her, I'm not telling you to give a false hope or picture this paradise, but when they say, because I'm sure many like me do, is there anything else we can do? Is there anything else I can even change in my routine that can mm -hmm. help? Stop saying there's no cure. How about you never know? Just leave that channel open. Yeah. And then I said, I was so excited to see the chief. I really said their name. I'm so excited to see the chief because December 15th of last year, she looked at me in the face and said, your mindset will get you through this. Mm. And she was right. My <laughs> mindset did. And then she just looked at me and was like, yeah, the mindset does, I do agree. But her, 
vibration of the voice mm -hmm. literally was like a nail on the chalkboard. And then she proceeded to say, could we please get a urine sample in house? And I said, sure, would you like a 24 hour one? And she said, no, we don't need one at home. We need one in house. Might as well just say, you didn't believe that was my <laughs> urine. So I said, absolutely. And then when I was grabbing the cup, I said, okay, I'll see you in six months. And she was like, we'll see based on the labs. We may have to see you sooner. And I said, geez, why we gotta put that vibration in this thing? Wow. Aren't you supposed to be happy that this patient is healed? Just say. But I can't tell you how increasingly with the medical system, and perhaps maybe I'm just now becoming more aware of it, that it's happening in my field more and more. But a client was telling me how, because I think it's also been happening to me at the dentist. Mm. Um, mm. They told me that I, that I need to get like all of my old fillings replaced and it's like, you know, it's, it's about so money. Teeth. So my other client told me that the, um, the dentist told her that she needed to have her tooth removed, which was gonna cost $7,000 and she felt suspicious about it. She went to get a second opinion. And then that dentist told her like, you, your tooth is fine. It doesn't need to be pulled. My left ear is ringing. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Can you share with everyone what like regular numbers are supposed to be at and what yes. your numbers were before yes. and now what they're at? So my numbers before uh, immunotherapy were 924 milligrams. They're supposed to be 150 milligrams or less. So that's why the, lo the bells were ringing. Mm -hmm. And then they put me in immunotherapy and it went up to 4,680. So I said, how? Y'all put me on this for a month and a half and it shot up. It quadrupled. So then when I stopped and I did combo for one time, the next labs, they went down from 4,680 milligrams to 1,050 milligrams, wow. just one session. So I said, so immunotherapy for a month and a half, but then it went up to 4,680, Combo one session, it went down to 1,050. Okay, we doing this. It's a no brainer. Yeah, we doing this. <laughs> yeah. So September 8th, I did lab works. And I will repeat, normal range is 150 milligrams or less. Because I had lupus, they said, you will never be less than 500. And that is staying on immunosuppressants for the rest of your life. And Spirit wanted to make a point because on September 8th, my lab works came back at 36 milligrams. So in a matter of just wow. weeks, it went from 1,580 to 36 milligrams. Spirit wanted to make a point. Yeah. Three plus six equals nine, it's divine, it's starting a new journey. And here I am to walk and say my testimonial. Mm -hmm. I didn't do this. And combo not only, like it's not that okay, you come, you receive combo, we have our session, and then it's done. No. Combo con continually keeps working on all of your, your blood, your lymph, your organs, everything, your immune system. Everything. That's why I'm and back this today. Proof. This is proof. That's why I'm back today. It wasn't just like, oh, three sessions and I'm done. I'm like, okay, you do the work. One thing that combo helped me a lot with the dieta, that you prep, right? to come here, literally, well, a dear friend of mine said this, wow, you are eating to live, you no longer live to eat. Mm. And yeah, I'll still get my little like cravings from time to time, I have these chocolates that are like no refined sugars and whatnot, but even then it's not like before that, I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I had this. I'm like, okay, if anything, I'll have some tea. And also because you've done combo, it's detoxed all of the, the chemical dependencies on whatever you're eating, whether it be yes. fried foods, sugar, all the, um, the sort of emotional connections that we have with food. We get addicted to food. Yeah. We really do. Especially here, they have a lot of additives. Mm -hmm. Whether you know it or not, you really, oh my gosh, you can't only have one cookie. You can't only have a little bit of a bag yeah. of chips. You have to finish it and sometimes you want more. And you don't realize at the moment, right? Because it's so innocent, we're human. And mm -hmm. I said, my goodness, the gratitude I have, I'm gonna work on still staying connected with that. What does that look like for me personally? Keeping my channel clean, keeping my body clean, staying put and walking in my power and saying the truth. Whether in this world it looks crazy or not, I'm gonna say the truth. 
would you recommend working with Combo first yes. or with Lupus or yes. anything else in their life? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And why? It's healing. It goes through you and it stays with you. You will feel Cambocito. Your loved ones will feel Cambocito. Just this past <laughs> week, two different loved ones. One sent me a picture of a frog. She's like, whoa. I'm like, yeah, he's with you. Yeah. And then one this morning was like, whoa, I was leaving your place and there was a little frog right in front. And I'm like, you two are his child, <laughs> you know? So yes, he's everywhere. So you yeah. never feel alone. He's a guardian angel. He's a guide. So it's not just what happens today. He's just with you. It's like y'all unite, you initiate, and you're fine. You feel powerful, not powerless. He's such a guardian. He's so much love for us. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And it's this all earth. about us standing in our sovereignty. Yes. And knowing that. And mm -hmm. knowing that that's okay. And you will see your reality change. I am healed. I am healed. I have no doubt about it in my mind that you were going to do this. And I just thought it would take a little bit longer, to be honest. That's how powerful he is. But it's not, it's it's a combination of everything. And it is also important, I think, for everyone else out there to, to know that, that it's not a quick fix, it is work. And it's not just like, okay, I'm gonna come to Combo and you're gonna do the work for me. Yes. It's, no. you, have, you have to do the work, you have to show up. It's your mindset. It's, are you are you tracking what is actually happening in your life? Are you conscious and aware? How are you approaching everything in your life? The way that you move in your life, the way that you eat, your diet, and all of that is a, is a holistic approach that makes an incredible difference in as, your life. Absolutely. As much work as you put into your nine to five, your business, for others, as much love, as much everything, don't forget yourself. You first, let's first go to the, the airplane. Put your mask on exactly. before you put it on others. Yeah. And as much as you invest in everything around you, don't forget that this needs investment too. So combo, yes, is here for you. What other investments are you doing? It should be the number one priority. Everything stems from this inside. Mm -hmm. And your body will talk to you. Yeah. It just takes work. I'm so proud of you, sister. Thank you. I am so much gratitude for you, for the work you do, for Cambocito, for Spirit, Mapacho, everything. The work you do, Chandra, is incredible. Thank you. You believe in your people. You guide them. You want to know where they are, and you meet them where they are. Mm -hmm. I never once felt here judged, just loved. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's been an honor and a joy, and it's, for me, this is, I, this is what I'm born to do. <laughs> and I love nothing more than to see these kinds of transformations happen in people's lives. But you say yes to yourself because I know the power of the medicines. And I know I know that I am a great facilitator and I will hold you with the utmost love and care that I would if I had a child. <laughs> All of my clients are like my children. And it's I feel you man. You're you're a beautiful example for everyone else. And I know that you're gonna go out there and shine it. <laughs> We're all one big true medicine. Yeah, one big breath. <laughs> well, thank you sisters so much for sharing your, your transformational journey again in, in such short amount of time. I am in awe and yeah, just really blessing you for your path and thanking you from the depths of my soul um, for choosing me as your facilitator. I'm, I'm beyond honored to have been the bridge for this transformation. Thank you for accepting me. <laughs>